Hi, I'm Dr. Deva Kalsa, and I know you've come to this site for help with irritable bowel disease in your dog or diarrhea in your dog due to reactions or allergic reactions to certain foods that he eats. Well, you've come to the right place. I've been a holistic veterinarian for over 30 years. I'm the author of the best-selling Dr. Kalsa's Natural Dog, and I lecture internationally. Now, there are lots of ways that this problem that your dog has can be handled, and there are other videos that talk about allergies that you may want to watch. Today, what I'm going to talk to you about is food and how to design a diet that will help your dog and help him to stabilize his gut, removing things that cause allergic reactions. The most common foods that cause allergic reactions in dogs and even in cats are beef, chicken, brewer's yeast, grains, corn, and soy. And what you want to try to do is remove these from your dog's diet so that the reaction does not occur. It's important to try to rotate the diet if you can because oftentimes feeding the same diet day after day will cause your dog to actually become allergic to the food that he's being fed. So what I like to suggest is a rotating diet using novel proteins. For instance, one day your dog can have sweet potatoes and uh, salmon or sweet potatoes and fish. The next day he can have uh, turkey and white rice and the next day another novel protein. In fact, there are so many dog foods that are pre-prepared available on the market with novel carbohydrates and novel proteins that it shouldn't be hard to find them. And additionally, these are bland diets. You know, they're not diets that will upset your dog's stomach. So first of all, using a rotating diet will help slow the reaction in the gut. Something that we've all heard about that works with intestinal problems is probiotics. And they're readily available at pet stores and at health food stores. But something that works even better than probiotics is called prebiotics. And prebiotics are substances in certain plants that act as food for the good bacteria. You know, when we give probiotics, what we're trying to do is increase the number of good bacteria in the gut and stabilize the gut flora. Well, when we give prebiotics, we're giving a food for the good gut bacteria, and studies have shown that the gut normalizes quicker with prebiotics than with probiotics. What plants have prebiotics in them? Plants like dandelion, kale, and parsley are excellent prebiotics helping to stabilize the intestine. And you can incorporate this into your pet's food in order to help him uh, stabilize and help stop the diarrhea. There's a product called Vital Vites by Deserving Pets that you can get at DeservingPets.com. And Vital Vites actually incorporates kale and dandelion into the mix in order to help stabilize the gut flora and help stop the diarrhea and stop the problem. And many dogs who have irritable bowel disease have started on Vital Vites and had the problem resolved completely. I want you to have healthier dogs and cats. I'd love for you to visit my blog, dogandcatvitamins.com, on which I have lots of handy tips for you for health for your dog so that your dogs and cats can be healthier and happier. I'm looking forward to seeing you there.